Okay guys, uh, welcome back to our video presentations for chapter 5, which is group 14. So we're going to continue with the second compound of group 14, which is the reaction of group 14 chlorides. Okay, so uh, as all of you know that, uh, all group 14 elements are forms can form tetrachloride, MCL4. And MCL4s are generally simple covalent molecules which are hold by weak van der Waals forces. However, germanium T and lead also can form dichloride MCL2. As the and when going down to group 14, uh, they becoming more ionic characteristic as the atomic size or atomic wave increase down group element. Okay, so this is the tables that summarize about group 14. So uh, in terms of boiling point, generally increase. Uh, however, uh, for CCL4, it has exceptionally high boiling point, which I'll explain later. And then the CCL4 cannot undergo hydrolysis, but water, but all of these uh, group 14 tetrachloride can undergo. Uh, generally, stability of the plus 4 oxidation state, we can say that is de uh, uh, this, uh, decreasing. Whereas plus two is increasing. Okay. Okay. So all group fourteen are simple covalent molecule hold by weak van der Waals forces. The structure of NCl four is as you can see just now. So generally, boiling point increase down group fourteen tetrachloride. So this is due to as molecular mass increase. The strength of weak van der Waals forces also increase. Uh, however, CCL4 has exceptionally high boiling point due to the strong intermolecular forces that exist between small CCL4 molecule. Okay. Okay. Also, as mentioned just now, we said that stability of plus two increase. Therefore, stability of MCL2 increase down group fourteen. So for the group fourteen compound. Tin 2 chloride and lead 2 chloride are more stable in plus 2 oxidation state rather than their form uh, plus 4 due to the inert pair effect uh, become greater as the result of the inner D and F suborbitals inside there. So when heated, uh, lead 4, uh, tin 4 chloride will dissociate to become PV SNCl2 plus Cl2, whereas for lead tetrachloride, uh, it can also decompose to become PVCl2 plus CL2 even at room temperature pressure. Okay, so uh, this decomposition temperature of PCl4 is lower because the atomic size of PB is greater, therefore increase the bond length as the bond strength decrease going down group 14 tetrachlorides. Okay, second most important properties is the uh, possibility of this group tetrachloride to undergo hydrolysis with water. So all group 14 can undergo hydrolysis with water except for carbon tetrachloride CCL4. So general equation for the reactions are MCL4 plus 2H2O give MO2 plus 4HCl where the M here may be silicon, germanium, tin and lead. So the hydrolysis of the group 14 tetrachloride with water uh, occur by first coordinating water molecule into the center atom of MCL4. So as you can see in here, uh, because you need uh, empty D orbital, so carbon does not have empty D orbitals to allocate the dative bond of water. So that is why you can see that uh, carbon cannot undergo hydrolysis while the other group 14 can undergo hydrolysis. Okay. Okay, then we are going to continue with silicon, silicate, and also silicones. Okay, so we know that silicon exists majorly on Earth in the form of silicate, where silicate are comprises the majority of the Earth's crust as well as terrestrial planets, rocky moons, and also even asteroids. So sand, Portland cement, and thousands of minerals are examples of silicate. So uh, silicate compound include the mineral consists of silicate and anion. So this is the base basic unit of the CDK anion with the formula SiO44 minus. So you can see that if oxygen is not shared in between two silicon atoms, each of them are holding a negatively charged substance. Now this is a top viewer. If we view from upside here, so we will see that this is a triangle. Okay. 
and in here this is like a pyramid so when you go down here you can see that there's a triangle pyramid and this is the silicon on top of it and the middle here is the uh, sorry oxygen on top of it and the silicon is at the center so now we're going to discuss the derivation of the silicate so the first derivation of the silicate is a type of pyro silicate with the formula si2076 minus so the characteristic is a uh, pyrosilicate is formed when two SiO4 four minus units join together using an oxygen as the bridging atom. So uh, it is also sometimes known as the uh, sorosilicate or disilicate. So examples are trovertite and also barium silicate. So this is the example of barium silicate. Huh? Okay, the next derivative of the silicate is what we call as a cyclosilicate, where cyclosilicate is made of three silicate uh, anions bridging by three oxygen atom okay and form this cyclosilicate structure okay so the characteristic is when three basic SiO4 unit where each unit share two oxygen atom in a compact manner so therefore because the formula is Si3096 minus it can be expressed in their empirical formula as SNO SiO3N to N minus examples are bentonite and also barrel so this is the barrel okay the green color in here okay okay then we are going to continue with the next type of derivations of silicate called as pyroxenes so pyroxenes has a general formula of SiO3N to N minus so where is the repeating unit of a pyroxene the pyroxene repeating unit can be seen from here until here so each bracketed that I rule out is the repeating unit of a pyroxene so as you can see here the actual formula here is 2SI SI2 you have O6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and uh, 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus and 4 minus so it can also be expressed as an empirical formula of SiO3N2 N minus. So how is it formed? So it is formed as a result of uh, two of the uh, each silicate uh, share two oxygen atom next to the silicate atom, forming a long single chain with the formula SiO3N2 N minus. So examples are enstatite and also ferrocylite. Uh, so this is a diagram of ferrocylite. Uh. Okay, the next one is amphibole. So amphibole is has the general formula of SiO4, uh, Si4O11, 6 minus power of N. So it is actually a derivation from a uh, pyroxene where this is the repeating unit of uh, amphibole. So as you can see in here, so it is made of two chain silicate. You see that? Mm, okay. So uh, this is formed when two pyroxene are joined together, okay? Where each of the oxy uh, uh, oxygen is shared, uh, each of the silicon is shared by two or three oxygens, uh, okay? So this is it, uh, and the structure of it, uh, you can see that it is very hard, yet brittle due to the space available in here. Okay, so examples are trevolite, and we commercially use it as asbestos, okay? So this is the characteristic of amphibole. And then we also have silicate sheets. So this is the structure of silicate sheets. So where is the repeating unit of a silicate sheets? The repeating unit of a silicate sheets is actually somewhere around here. Okay. So it is a repeating of many T shaped. Uh, I because my hand here are trembling, so I cannot really draw very well. But actually, you can see from one of the repeating unit that I circle out, it is made of two silicon with five oxygen, and then with two n uh, minus here. Okay, so silicate. Uh, this silicate sheet is formed when a uh, three corner. When three corner of the silicate unit are shared by three other uh, oxygen atom, that means uh, one silicon share three oxygen unit to form these two dimensional infinite sheets. Uh, okay, uh, so this one is electrically neutral and has giant covalent structure. So examples are talcum. So this is talcum in a cluster. A cluster form this is what happened when it is crushed so it is can be used in your baby john baby powder 
okay and also any powder la, that is you use on your body okay okay and last but not least the further derivation is just now we see silicate sheets is a uh, two-dimensional so we have three-dimensional where all silicons share all of its oxygen atom to other silicon unit so in here this is uh, this substance share in a three-dimensional lattice uh, so this one is also known as the silica la, okay uh, it has a general formula of SiO2 actually Okay, so this is how generally a silica, which is actually quartz, uh, or also known as a glass, uh, looks like. Okay, so this is the example for it. Uh, okay, okay. so with this, I end my lesson until silicate. We are going to continue later with silicones and also uh, glasses. Thank you.